A pacemaker is a small device that helps the heart beat normally. Electrical signals tell your heart to pump blood in a specific rhythm in a normal heart. If those electrical signals are disrupted, the rhythm can change. When this happens, your heart may not beat well enough to pump blood to all parts of your body. This can lead to symptoms like fatigue, shortness of breath, or fainting. A pacemaker is a small battery-powered device that creates electrical currents that keep the heart beating at a normal rhythm. The device is placed under the skin of your chest. Flexible wires called leads run from the pacemaker to your heart. When the pacemaker detects that your heart rate is too slow, it sends a small electrical pulse to your heart. You might need a pacemaker if you sometimes have an abnormal heart rate that causes symptoms. You also might need a certain kind of pacemaker if you have heart failure. This type of pacemaker can help your heart beat in a more efficient way, which can help reduce your symptoms. Implanting a pacemaker. A pacemaker is implanted during minor surgery. You are given medicine to help you relax and to numb your chest. Your healthcare provider makes a small cut in the skin of your chest. The leads are threaded through a vein and sent into the heart. The pacemaker is then placed just under your skin. It's tested, and then the cut is closed. You may go home when your healthcare provider says it's okay. Your provider will give you specific instructions about follow-up care. You may have mild pain, swelling, or tenderness where the pacemaker sits under your skin until the area heals. Most people return to their normal life within a few days, but your healthcare provider may advise that you avoid certain activities, such as heavy lifting, until the area heals completely. That usually takes about six weeks. Living with a pacemaker. You'll need regular checkups to make sure your pacemaker works properly. Let your provider know right away if you faint or feel like you might faint. You may notice when your pacemaker sends an electrical pulse, but it shouldn't be painful. The pacemaker keeps a record of your heart's electrical activity, which can help your provider plan your treatment. You may need minor surgery to replace your pacemaker box in about 10 years. In rare cases, the pacemaker will need to be replaced if it stops working before this time. Always tell your healthcare provider if you begin having symptoms of heart rhythm problems. Again, let all of your healthcare providers know about your pacemaker. Always carry an ID card or bracelet with information about your pacemaker. Medical devices and other equipment with strong magnets or strong electrical fields can disrupt your pacemaker. Your healthcare provider may give you a list of devices and procedures to avoid. To be safe talk with your healthcare provider before having imaging tests such as an MRI. Always tell the security screeners that you have a pacemaker before going through the security detectors. Detectors are usually safe for pacemakers, but the small amount of metal in the pacemaker and leads may set off the alarm. Don't carry a cell phone in your breast pocket over your pacemaker. Cell phones don't seem to affect pacemakers or the pulse generator, but it's best to keep cell phones at least 6 inches away from your pacemaker. Always contact your healthcare provider if you have any questions about using any equipment near your pacemaker. Thanks for watching. Please watch our next video on atrial fibrillation to learn more. Thank you.